Welcome to Linux Saint YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to learn about recursive functions in C programming language and the concept of recursion. So without any delay, let's talk about recursive function. When a function calls itself from within the function, then this whole process is called recursion. When using recursion, we must keep in mind one important thing that we need to define an exit condition, otherwise the function would not stop calling itself and form an infinite loop which would eventually cause our system to crash. So now we know what a recursion is when a function calls itself from within the function to achieve a particular computation. But how does a recursion work? Well recursion works on the principle of stacking or stacks in C programming language. Take a look at your screen we have an empty stack over here. So if we were to write a function to compute the factorial of an integer value then first of all let's say the number is 5. So we know how to calculate a factorial of a particular number. The formula is f of n is equals to n multiplied by f of n minus 1. That means that if I want to calculate the factorial of 5, I'll have to multiply 5 with the factorial of 4. And for the factorial of 4, I'll have to multiply 4 with the factorial of 3. So let's fill up this stack. For the factorial of 5, the first call is made at the very bottom. So we have in the very bottom factorial of 5 equals to 5 multiplied by factorial of 4. Now we're making another call to the same function. So the second entry in the stack becomes the factorial of 4 which is equals to 4 multiplied by factorial of 3. Similarly the third entry becomes factorial of 3 which is equals to 3 multiplied by factorial of 2. Similarly this step goes on till we reach the point factorial of 0. And we have already defined that the exit condition is when we are taking the factorial of 0 the return value is 1. So now we have this stack that is waiting for computation results to come from top to get sorted all the way to the bottom. So let's see how this computation works now. So at the very top we get the value 1 which is then sent to the second entry which is factorial of 1 is equal to 1 multiplied by factorial of 0. This factorial of 0 is replaced by the value 1. The factorial of 0 is removed from the top. Similarly when we get the value of factorial of 1 that is also removed from the top and the result is passed on to the lower entry which is the factorial of 2 which is waiting for 2 multiplied by factorial of 1. So we input the value here and then we get the value of factorial of 2. Similarly we get this value of factorial of 2 which is equals to 2 and we put it in the value of factorial of 3. We get 6 and we put this 6 into the factorial of 4 we get 24. Similarly while removing all the factorials that we have been calculated from the stack we reach to the last step which is the factorial of 5 which becomes 5 multiplied by 36 which gives us the answer value 120. And when we have this last value our stack depletes itself and our factorial function comes to an end. So that is how we get the value of factorial of 5 equals to 120. Well enough talking about the working of recursive functions let's actually try to code the same function in our C programming language. So first of all we have an integer function I'm going to call it factorial and this function is going to take in an integer value which is going to be let's say n. Coming to function definition the first thing that we are going to do is explain the exit condition. So we know that the exit condition is when the integer value n is equal to 0 or let's even say it is less than 0 in some random case then we are going to return the value 1. If the integer is not 0 then we are going to return the value n multiplied by the factorial of n minus 1. So let's go back into our main function. Let's create an integer value, integer number. Let's create it as 5. Let's do this. Let's write a printf statement. And within the printf statement, I'm going to write the factorial of percentage %d is percentage %d. For the first part, I'm going to pass in this number that we created, which was 5. And for the second part, I'm going to pass this number inside the factorial function and get a return value from that function. So if we execute this code, we get the following answer that the factorial of 5 is 120. We can change this number to anything that we want, let's say 6. The bottom line is that this function is an example of recursive function. And recursion is the process is when a function 
makes a call to itself to reach a exit value. Well, that was it for this very short video on recursive functions and recursion in C programming language. Hope you learned something new today or your concepts became a bit more clearer.